Hello everyone. I want to go over uh, an example that I was trying to get to in class, but I had to rush a little quickly. Therefore, I thought it would be best if we presented it in a bit more detail here and give you a chance to let it sink in. The example here is an amoeba sitting on a frictionless ramp, and the ramp has an inclination. If the ramp is uh, 5 nanograms and it's pushed with a constant force, the ramp will accelerate together at a constant acceleration a in the x direction. So right here, so it'll accelerate off in this way. The trick with this problem is that there is a Newton third law contact force and an inclined plane. So I kind of want to go over both of the free body diagrams involved. For the amoeba, there's a contact force from the ramp going off in that direction, and there's a weight coming down going in that direction. And so the mass of the amoeba times the force of gravity goes down, and then there's this contact force. Let's be formal about it and call it the normal force exerted by the ramp on the amoeba. Now the question comes, if this is my x-axis here, what is the angle theta? Here's my y-axis, and I need to project this into uh, that coordinate system. If we extended the ramp line on down in this direction, and we formed a triangle, this would be the angle given in the problem as theta. From here, we can march up. This is uh, the alternate interior angles of parallel lines. This is a right angle, so this is 90 degrees minus theta. And this is also a right angle, so that must be the angle theta as given in the problem. From here, we can do the projection into the coordinate system. But before I go, I want to do the free body diagram for the ramp. The ramp clearly has the force F that's being force pushed on it. That goes off in that direction. It has the weight of the ramp coming down. So that's the mass of the ramp times the force of gravity. Then we have a normal force from the Earth exerted on the ramp. And then finally, we have the equal and opposite force of the ramp on the amoeba uh, that goes off in this direction. So that's equal and opposite. And it's the normal force exerted by the amoeba on the ramp. So much like the example uh, that we did with the two blocks, the normal force in magnitude from the amoeba on the ramp is equal to the normal force of the ramp on the amoeba and again, magnitude. From here, uh, again, we have the angle theta in this projection is right here. That's just the same uh, reasoning we did in class for the projection of the, uh, the normal or the normal force uh, into or the weight into the. Uh, coordinate system along in parallel to the ramp. But here what we'll do is we'll make the projection going the other way and bring the uh, normal force into that. So next, according to the system, we write down F equals MA in both directions. So for the amoeba, the uh, projection here gives us that the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to the normal force of the ramp on the amoeba times the, well, it's got to be this component up here. That's the x direction. That's the opposite of that. So that's sine, oops, let's make this the right color. That's going to be sine theta. And there's no other forces going in this plus x direction as specified. So that must be the mass of the amoeba times the acceleration in the x direction. The sum of the forces in the y direction is going to be this component here. So that's going to be the n ramp amoeba uh, times the cosine of theta on that direction. And so that is equal to n r a cos theta. So that's the going up direction. Mag is going down. So that's m mass of the amoeba times g. 
it's going down, and this amoeba isn't moving up or down the ramp. That's the whole point of this accelerating together, so we set that to be zero. And that looks like it's going to be useful information. We're going to do the same thing for the ramp. Let's set up in the x-coordinate first, so the sum of the forces in the x-coordinate is going to be, well, there's this f, that's the first one, it's going in the plus x direction. Then we have this normal force from the amoeba on the ramp pushing back in the other direction. So we can do the decomposition. Uh, this is going to be the normal force of the amoeba on the ramp times the cosine, and this other part here is going to be normal force of amoeba on ramp sine theta. And you can see that that is the one, it's going off in the negative x direction, so we're going to use that, no, woo, we're going to totally use the ink color and say minus normal force of the amoeba on the ramp sine theta. And those are the forces that are going to push the ramp to the right at acceleration A. Finally, we get the sum of the forces in the y direction, and this secretly doesn't matter um, because all it tells us is the normal force of the Earth relative to the other components. Uh, but for completeness sake, this is minus NAR cos theta, so cosine, uh, minus M ramp times G. Okay, this is the end of the physics. At this point, we can roll on down and do some algebra recalling what we need to work on. So here, we're going to start out, let's give these equations some numbers. We're going to start out with equation 1, 2, and then we're going to use 3. We don't need this other equation, so uh, the sum of the forces in the y direction on the ramp uh, isn't so useful. So we're going to start out with equation 2. And from there, we're going to say we can solve this and figure out that n time, ramp times amoeba cos theta is equal to mass of the amoeba times g. Uh, so I'm pushing the mass of the amoeba times g over. And then I can solve for what the magnitude of that contact force is by dividing both sides by cos theta. So m a g over cosine theta. Okay, so that's pretty useful, and at this point, we're going to use that information in equation 1. So if we go to equation 1, what we'll see is we're going to take the NRA and plug this in. So this becomes uh, NRA sine theta, just copy over, uh, is equal to MA times the acceleration, and then we're going to plug that in for NRA, which leaves us with M A G, M sub A G, cos theta times sine theta uh, is equal to M A times A. You'll notice that these masses of the amoeba cancel out, and this actually tells us what our acceleration value has to be. A is equal to G sine theta over cos theta, or using the powers of trig vested in me by the great province of Alberta, that is equal to the tangent of theta. All right, at this point we know what the accelerations are, and from this point we can go ahead and solve for what the forces have to be. So we're going to go over here to equation 3 and learn how to plug those in to find out what the force actually is. So just jotting equation 3 down again, that's force minus n a r times the sine of theta is equal to the mass of the ramp times the acceleration. Uh, we know what both of the accelerations and the magnitude of the force are, so I'm going to push that over to the other side, solve for f. f is equal to n a r times sine theta plus mass of the ramp times the acceleration a. And then I'm going to go ahead and use equation 2 to sub in for the NAR, and the, the, what we worked on for equation 1 to solve in uh, the acceleration A. So if we do that, then we get that F is equal to MAG over sine theta, over cos theta, that's a cos theta up there, 
M A G over cos theta times this sine theta here, sine theta, plus mass of the ramp times the acceleration, which is g tan theta. Okay, at this point, you'll see that this sine and cos cancel to form a tan again. So that's tangent theta. And then we end up with this being mass of the amoeba, g tan theta, plus the mass of the ramp times uh, g tan theta. And if I go ahead and factor out the mass of the amoeba and the ramp, mass of the amoeba plus the mass of the ramp times g tan theta, then what we get is uh, an expression we can sub in. We're done at this point, but we'll go ahead and say that the amoeba is uh, one nanogram, and one nanogram is 10 to the minus 12 kilograms plus the mass of the ramp, which is 5 times 10 to the minus 12 kilograms, times g, which is 9.81 meters per second squared, times the tangent of the angle of the ramp, which was the 30 degrees. And that gives you an answer that's about 34 times 10 to the minus 12 newtons, which is 34 pico.